Hey, what is up you guys? It's Audrey and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, bonjour and welcome. Today's video, we're going to do another point you update and just talking about my current shoes, which actually I have not done in the longest time. I don't remember the last time I did this. It was probably in the summer. I'm not even wearing the last shoes that I was talking about. So I have a lot to kind of go over and also... I'm back at my desk. I have not done a video at my desk or just sat down in quite a long time. I just haven't really had like a creative spark for any videos and I just kind of been doing some vlogs recently and I just I put them out for really my own enjoyment to look back at those and um you know for those of you who do enjoy those that's great and that's awesome. I do know the videos that you guys know and you love um, so I'd love to keep doing those videos, these kind of dance videos I know you guys enjoy. So if you have some video recommendations, I will definitely be doing those in the new year to come. I just want to like put so many videos out in this new year. I think it's just gonna, it's gonna be an exciting year. Very busy with Nutcracker. Nutcracker is next weekend for me. And I will have some videos on that. As you guys know, I do that like every single year. I'm hoping to do like a theater week kind of vlog and what it's like for Nutcracker. Um, but I'll talk more about that. I don't want to like make this all too long about Nutcracker But let's just get on with the video last point you update kind of review I think I was wearing the Capizio Devlapes and I like switched out of those um, In the summer I was wearing those in the summer and then I think when we came back for the fall semester I was wearing suffix again, so I've done a video on suffix um and I think I'll show them again in this video, but if you want to look at that video, I will link that in the description of when I try these on. I think in that video I talk a while in the beginning and I show them at the end. So just like fast forward to the end, you don't have to hear me talk about them. But I'll kind of tell you guys why I decided to go back, what I've been thinking, and like why I've been really sticking with these and really loving them. And I've actually been having some foot and toe problems, so I'll explain a bit of that as well. I don't know if I've really told you guys about that. Um, but I'm just going to be kind of going over an update and yeah, I'm actually, this is a newer pair. I just ordered another one because I want to be switching between three, the weekend of Nutcracker. Um, I was just going to be doing two, but like, I feel like the thing is, my friend said this, that two is like not enough. And then four is like kind of excessive. So I think three is like the perfect amount, at least for the shows that we're doing. We do four shows of Nutcracker this year, but... Um, we also have like two dress rehearsals, so if you kind of like see. these are suffix stellars in my other video about suffix I've also tried spotlights, but I really do love these the difference in the two shoes not super different um, But I those are the only two suffix I've tried I'm not sure how many other shoes they have and As well in my last video I said these reminded me a lot of freeds not not exactly like freeds because I have a thing with freeds I just I really don't like freeds at all um but the thing is kind of like how they look on your foot, which I love how Freeze look on my foot. And this is kind of that similar style. And someone told me in the comments it is because someone who used to work at Freeze started the brand um, of these point shoes, Suffix. I have been loving these shoes. Um, they last me a good amount of time and they support me well. The thing that I have to do with mainly every single shoe that I wear is I break them in a lot. Since this is a shoe I've only worn twice, it's pretty broken in now, like it's about perfectly broken in for me. Um, what I had to do was I didn't really have a class to break these in because um, we were doing partnering and I was like, dang, like I'm gonna have to break these in with my hands a little, which is something I don't really like to do because that ends up kind of breaking the shoe down quicker than just me wearing them in with my feet. Um, but so yeah, if it's something like that, like I will break in the shank a bit and I'll like bend it this way. Um, but something I have to do every single time, no matter if I'm breaking them in in class or like I have to do it quick is I do super smash boxes, especially around this area. So you'll see like right here, like this is super just like flimsy and it kind of sucks with the support there because I do have very flexible ankles like I've talked about. And so that will kind of wear away the support a little quicker but it's something I have to do because it is so hard for me to find a shoe that is comfortable around like my Taylor's bunion and I don't know if I've talked about this um, but I do I have like a Taylor's bunion or just like my feet are very wide at the end like where my toes are and then um, like my big toe like I have like a super big just like bone and then also like on the side of my pinky or like lower you, you guys know what I'm talking about if you have like dancer feet <laughs> But so those are very painful and specifically I feel like it's about like the pinky side of my foot right there. So that's why I really break in 
this part of the shoe. That's like the main thing that I have to do with my shoes, like I said, is really break in the box or else it is just super painful. And then the times leading up to me like breaking in my shoes, like between classes and rehearsal, um, at least like the first two or three times, like before I put the shoes on, I like smash them a little bit more um, because I just need that. And also, so I have a new thing I put in my shoes. Um, and then I don't know if I've told you guys, but I wear halters in my shoes. I think I forgot what the name was in my last video, but now I remember. These are called halters. Um, it just helps a little bit so you're not like sliding around in your shoe if it's just like a little bit too big. Um, but just for reasons you like have to have that certain size, halters will help with that. So I really love these and I put them every time in the shoes. And so I just wear my normal toe spacers. This is like kind of the shark fin um shape and then i wear these little guys so i'm not exactly sure what these are called they didn't really tell me but if i'm sure if you go online or you go to your dance store and you see them if you see them um you'll know because they're they're your um second to last toe and then your pinky toe and it's supposed to help with your taylor's bunion and honestly i really do think it does i'm not sure how it it's almost like a toe spacer for those toes obviously it's got this it's a little bit slanted and it's just so that your toes stay in alignment and they're not like squished together um which is something i have a lot of trouble with and i don't want this video to be too long if you guys want me to talk more about this i definitely will but i have um turf toe is what i'm pretty sure it is called i went to like three different or maybe just two different people um for it like a sports medicine doctor and then a physical therapist and they both did not tell me this until i actually went directly to my teacher and he knew exactly what i was talking about he had had it in the past and it is turf toe and it was um this just pain underneath my big toe um and i i still hurt like so bad today like i've been dealing with this since the summer um but i really i can't even force my three-quarter point hardly like in in the beginning like my there was like a 30 degree difference between how far back on my toes could bend and now i have been in both my toes but in the beginning it was just one of them um so like my three quarter it's just like i can't push it and it hurts and um i recently now have a like foot like um i'm trying to describe this to you guys but so this is where it mainly hurts the turf toe it's like right under there and the physical therapist told me this super weird thing and it was like she thought it like went all the way up here because that's the bone in your big toe connects down there so that's a big problem with dan for dancers um and so she gave me some kind of weird exercises she wanted me to like wrap my toe because she thought my toe my big toe was like bending in my shoe which i get that um but the taping it almost like a cast didn't really work i don't think i i don't really know so i've been trying to ice it i've been trying to take um ibuprofen but still have been dealing with that and um so yeah for a while i was wearing like tape around my big toes and um i was wearing these had all of this um and so i i haven't been doing that and i've just i don't know the my toes will hurt more just depending on the day um i try to ice them as much as i can i don't know if you guys have dealt with this but yeah it's called turf toe it's something more like athletes get and i'm not completely sure of the cause i need to research it a bit more pretty sure that is what i have but that's what i've been dealing with with my toe situation and then told you guys about my point shoe situation but i really have been loving the suffix point shoes and i really think that they work for a lot of people so if you're having trouble definitely like go to your fitter and maybe um talk about suffix and try on a lot of their different styles but i really really do love them last a decent amount of time um and they definitely helped with my taylor's bunny like they don't show off my taylor's bunny in and also most of the time they support my kind of like very flexible ankles yeah so merit on all of you guys shows i'll see you guys with more dance inspired videos really soon because of the whole nutcracker season um but yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up so you can all be pals subscribe right down below and i will see you next time bye guys